heard her too, didn't you? Yes. But for the moment, let's keep our minds clear and examine the situation. I met Ludmila a while ago when I offered to do some investigations on Martha's death. I reported on her suicide, but there were some things that didn't add up. Hello? Good evening. This is Father Abraham Marcus. May I speak to Miss Ludmila? I'm her brother, Lazarus. Unfortunately, Ludmila is... She's dead, Father. God have mercy. I've had this feeling of uneasiness ever since your mother passed away. We need to talk in person. Phones are not safe anymore. I'll come by the apartment. Thank you for being here, Father. What a hideous murder. As much as I hate it, I must confess to you that this place bears deep and old wounds. I've known your family for years, and I've learned a lot of things in time, but most of them were told to me during confession. As a priest, I took an oath not to divulge such secrets. It's fine. Your presence here brings us a bit of comfort, and that's enough for now. Take your time, and gather your thoughts, Mr. Lazarus. In the meantime, I'll read some prayers for the departed. Dictator. The level of brutality is inhuman. Makes me think of your mother. If you would have been there, you would have seen it. There were clear signs of violence on her body. I'm not watching this. Why would my sister get involved with these deranged people? Did they murder her? Part of the sink was chipped off. Her head seems to have been smashed against it. We have to be strong, Mr. Lazarus. Your sister never believed that your mother hanged herself. She simply refused to. We were on a mission to find the truth together.
We need to find more about your family's past, and your long estranged father may be key to this. Lumila had plans to visit the Rosanal Monastery. She had information from Father Abraham that your father may live there, but I'm not going. Not with all the social turmoil in this country. I'll go. Will you stay and watch over her body? I should talk to Father Abraham to bless this place. I'll leave for Ross now tomorrow morning to look for my father. A wise idea. Your father served his apprenticeship at that monastery for almost eight years. I'm not sure he's still there, though. Try to look for a small chapel not far from the church. He used to pray there often. Perhaps at least you'll find some clues about him. God bless you, Mr. Lazarus. I left toward the Rosanau Monastery early in the morning. I couldn't help but picture myself meeting my father after all those years. How I'd need to tell him that his wife and daughter had passed away. When I arrived at the monastery grounds, I left my car behind and decided to take a walk. I'm still unable to grasp that my sister is dead, but this fresh mountain air makes me feel oddly comfortable. I really hope I can find some clues about my father here. Never thought I'd set foot in such a place, but I have to continue my sister's journey. It's the least I can do. Looking back now, I abandoned her when she needed me most. I was a selfish idiot. Just see a ghost? He was brutally murdered. There's something deeply disturbing about this place. Hello, my friend. You look familiar. Yes. We met in the Kalima region. Yes, we've destroyed the battleship. Unfortunately, General Zotov wasn't aboard. So, this isn't over yet. What do you mean? Do you know how to play guitar? No. It is the only thing that brings me comfort these days. Listen, what's going on? What happened here? There are corpses all over the place. It's called war. War against humanity. I followed General Zotov's trail from Kalima, and ended up here. It seems his soldiers were dispatched here a while ago. They forced all the monks to dig their own graves, before shooting them in the back of the head. Executions, like in the times of the Soviet Revolution. They hanged the monastery elder and took pictures of him as a trophy. When I got here last night, they were drunkenly celebrating their foul deeds. Unlucky for them. What do you mean? I killed them all. Bastards. Their minds have been poisoned by Zotov's promises of freedom and riches. Promises of a country like no other under the sun. But his days are numbered too. wound in your chest looks serious. You need help. We must get you to a hospital. Yeah, if you say so. <clears throat> With that madman over there, we won't be able to go anywhere. <clears throat> that sick maniac stabbed me. He left me to bleed out here like a pig. I'll look for something to patch that wound. Hold on. Could you find something for the pain too? It's too much.
I'm still weak. But at least I can try to fight back now. Listen, you have to find me a gun. I know it sounds rather grim, but we have to take down that demented murderer. Are you sure you can use a gun right now? It's him or us. Unless you're willing to shoot him yourself. I don't have a choice. Find me a gun. This feels like a bad idea. How do I know that you won't kill me too? Jesus! Why did you kill him? Because for a moment, it looked like you'd be dumb enough to give him a weapon. But I'm a forgivable person. Now, take his fancy equipment. Listen, I don't know what you're up to, but don't include me. Like it or not, we are now in this together. You destroyed that cruiser, remember? You're up to your neck in all of this. And whatever you came here to do, you need me. Damn you. I'm already damned. Now, Search the body and watch your step. Don't try anything stupid. It's a trap! This thing is rigged! Oh god. No. No!
Hmm. Strange. Right. We must keep quiet from now on. We are not alone. There's a huge operation in this area. Really? I can't see anything. Quiet! We must put an end to it. The army of General Zotov is close to us. They're digging for gold. Huge amounts. They killed all the monks and peasants in the area and brought hideous creatures with four arms. What? You must help me stop this. We have to kill them. Absolutely not. We have to. After all you've seen, you still doubt what I'm saying? God damn it, believe me, I'm not crazy. What the hell was that? This is truly fascinating. This place resembles some kind of laboratory. If I were to believe Father Abraham, Dad used to pray here. It must have been written by my father. Hmm, what am I missing? It doesn't work for now. Something is missing here. I need to make sense of all this. I need something to make this work. Is this gold? No wonder General Zotov was interested in this place. There it is. You see? Monsters with four arms. Listen, I'm gonna wait here. You go and see what the hell is going on. The regime is obsessed with gold. They call it redistribution of wealth or something like that. Try to disrupt this hideous operation. If possible, kill all of them. I'm not going to kill anyone, all right? I should take a look around before messing with this thing.
Hey, you hear me? What's the situation over there? There's nobody here that we could kill, that's for sure. It seems that whoever was here has already left. What remains of the extraction is run mostly by machines. They're not machines. They're demons in the service of the devil. There's some kind of generator at the bottom of the line. It seems to be providing energy to the drones. I saw you. I saw you earlier in the forest. She looks like she's sleeping. I admit that all of this seems eerie, but strangely, it doesn't inspire fear in me. air is filled with a strange, otherworldly energy. I don't know how to explain it, but I've never seen such a thing. I've always considered the supernatural the product of a vivid imagination, but here I am. Am I starting to believe? While Dan surrounded himself with the beautiful and the divine, Mom and Ludmila succumbed in sadness and frustration. 
but it is such a relief to discover this unknown side of his life. At least he found peace. Stabilize the energy core. It's overcharging. Let's get the hell out of here. This thing is going to explode. I barely managed to make it to the ruins of the old church. And like the other encounter with this strange man, it didn't end well. At least, for him. I left him there unconscious and covered in ash as I rushed to my car. I didn't want to be a part of his crazy agenda for a third time. I left without many answers, but half happy to have at least found mentions of my father.